Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today I'm going to show you how to create this look right here. It's a very extravagant and over the top cut crease featuring some glitter and color. You know all of my favorite things. So let's get started. This is my lovely model. First off we're going to be priming her eyes using the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. You guys know I use this pretty much all the time. This is my go to eye primer. I can't imagine ever using anything else on my clients other than this. I'm then going to be setting above her crease with just a matte ivory shadow to create some smoothness and so the, the base isn't as tacky and we don't have any patchiness going on. I'm then taking a Luxie blending brush and placing on a matte pink shadow in her crease. I'm being careful to just really focus on the top part of her crease, not so much on her lid. As you can tell, I'm really not wanting to touch it. I'm then gradually building up, deepening the color with different variations of browns and taupes. I am then taking a much smaller blending brush and focusing closer on the outer edge of that crease with a matte black shadow. Then with the flat shader brush, I am taking more of that MAC Paint Pot and running this over and cutting her crease, inching my way to the very end of her eyelid and just following the natural socket and just swooping it out to create that nice little wing shape. And you wanna work this in gradual steps. You know, start off kinda low, an inch away up higher and higher until you get the desired um, height that you want for the cut crease to be. I'm then gonna be patting on a shimmery light pink shadow all over that area where we placed the MAC Paint Pot. And to add a little bit of fun into this cut crease, I'm gonna be taking the NYX Crystal Liner, which is just a glitter liner in gold. Uh, the actual shade is called something else, but the tone of the color is gold as far as the glitter. I'll list the correct name down below in the description bar. I'm then using my Inglot Gel Liner AMC in 77, which is one of my favorite black liners, although if you follow me on Snap and Insta, you'll know that I actually had a new liner replace it, but this was filmed a while back, and yeah, at this time I was still using my Inglot Liner. I'm then going to be priming her face. I believe I just used the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm, although I will be honest, I don't quite remember, but use your primer of choice or for your client's needs. I'm then correcting underneath her eye with a pinky toned corrector, and then I'm going to be using that same corrector in a small angle brush to just clean up and sharpen up her wing liner while we are there, and we can do some cleanup work. I'm then going to be using the Milani 2-in-1 foundation. I believe this is the shade 06, if I'm not mistaken, and a Morphe foundation brush to just buff this into the skin. I am doing some soft padding motions to get a nice coverage with no streaks. And then I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand and placing this directly underneath her eyes, then taking a damp beauty sponge and just buffing this in, getting closer and closer to the lash line and concealing any dark circles and the corrector we had placed. I am then taking the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in medium and using the yellow shade, I believe it's banana, from that cream contour kit and highlighting the center of her face. Then switching over to the more bronzy tone contour shade and using the same beauty sponge we used for the under eye area to just bronze up her forehead, around her chin area, and around her contour line which is just basically the hollows of her cheeks but also going a little bit further up reaching to the very base of the top of her cheekbones and i wanted to use a sponge to get a softer look for this creamy contour because we're going to sharpen it up later with powders i'm then taking the ben nye luxury powder and banana and setting that and letting that bake while we do her brows for her brows, I'm using Anastasia Brow Powder in dark brown and her number 12 brush to just fill them in. She has a really good shape to her brows already and they're pretty full, so just filling in any sparse areas before taking a full coverage concealer and cleaning this up with a small angle brush just on the baseline only. I am then going to be taking off any of the excess baking that we were doing with just a sheer powder brush from Bobbi Brown before going in with Graftobian's bronzer in medium and a large powder brush and bronzing up her cheeks, chin, forehead, and then just chiseling out her nose contour, contour, <laughs> contour even more. I'm then taking the Anastasia Contour Powder in Java and a Luxie Angle Brush and just deepening up the very hollow of her hollow of her cheek just to add some more depth. 
and then taking Becca's champagne pop and highlighting the bridge and center of her nose and then taking a fan brush and highlighting the tops of her cheekbones and I'm pretty much just packing on the glow here like as you can tell I was not shy about this I wanted this to be like I wanted her to look and feel like a goddess so it's basically just what I went for was just a high shine look I'm then taking a real hair brush and using Bobbi Brown's Almond Blush. It's discontinued, but you could basically use uh, any neutral bronzy blush. It doesn't have like, it doesn't pull too pink or too orange or anything like that. I'm then going to be lining her waterline using an angled liner brush with the same Inglot Gel Liner and then making sure to do that little dip on the inner corner. She has fairly small eyes and this shape of liner really elongates them and emphasizes them so much. It's dramatic. Yes, this is not everyday eye makeup. You've been warned. I'm then going to be using the colors we used in her crease to just buff out that liner and to set it. And to make the inner corner sharp, take a small angle brush and some concealer or foundation, whatever you want to use, and just sharpen off, sharpen up that point on the inner corner and it'll look super flicky. Then I'm taking some liquid liner and this is from the Balm Cosmetics. This is their Schwing liquid liner. I love it because it dries super matte. And I am just going to be refining and darkening up that liner because, again, I wanted everything in this look to be bold. So the bolder the liner, the better. I'm then going to be taking just uh, some more champagne pop and highlighting her brow bone. And then I'm going to be placing on some lashes. These are the 3D Mink Lashes from Dodo Lashes. They're fairly inexpensive. Quality is not, like, super, like, up there, but they will do for a one-time use maybe a couple more times, but just putting that out there. I'm then taking some matte black shadow to cover up any glue that may still be showing on her lash line before coating her real lashes and binding them together with the falsies with some mascara. For the lips, I'm gonna be going with a nude because the eyes are so bold, I don't wanna take away any attention from them. I am aligning her lips with a NYX lip liner. I believe this is called Pale Pink and just slightly, slightly overlining her lip. Uh, whenever I'm, I am overlining any client's lips, I don't like to go too, too far above the natural lip line, just slightly above or over the edge of their natural lip line. I'm then going to be filling in with a pinky tone lipstick before plopping on some gloss right in the center and just giving it some more shine and dimension to her lips and just using the paddle of my brush to just kind of spread it out and blend it into the outer corner edges and it creates a nice fullness without it being too over dramatic and just cleaning up her lip line. I'm then going to be setting her off with some setting spray and voila this is the finished look. I absolutely love it. It's very dramatic like I warned you in the beginning but if you love the drama this is for you. If you don't sorry but not sorry. Anyways I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you think down below and see you soon.